Like most universities that train physics majors, we have good research facilities, we have an excellent faculty. But the thing I think that really sets us apart is that we have really talented undergraduates here and we take care that everyone gets research training before they go. We have a very strong acoustics group. Uh, they study loud bangs and explosions and rocket engines and jet engines and machine guns and all kinds of things that are noisy. Those are very hard problems to uh, study and they do a great job of it. I work in acoustics and specifically I work in high amplitude sound the noise from jets and rockets and blast waves. One of the uh, issues that the military faces is uh, the noise from high, uh, high performance jet aircraft. And the noise um, specifically on aircraft carrier decks and the noise that the personnel are exposed to. And we've received grants from uh, the Air Force Research Laboratory and the Office of Naval Research and also NASA. We are trying to understand where in the turbulent uh, jet plume the noise is being created. As we understand the source better, then we can hopefully target effective noise reduction strategies. So my research here at BYU on jet noise has opened the door to the Air Force Research Lab in Dayton, Ohio. I'm gonna be going there to continue this jet noise research problem uh, on a broader scale, dealing with all aspects, not just trying to identify jet noise, but to learn how to control it, learn how uh, changing flight patterns and operational procedures and things like that can help to mitigate the problem. The facilities that we have here at BYU are, are truly exceptional. And we're standing in this anechoic chamber and it's one of the largest anechoic chambers at an academic institution in the whole country. We have uh, an enormous facility that all students have access to with the proper training. It's not just graduate students on specifically funded projects. Anyone can come in and do research to experience firsthand uh, the, the principles that they're learning about in their classes. We also have a nanotechnology group here. They study uh, structures down on the scale of nanometers, which has become very popular. Uh, these things that we're all excited to carry around in our pockets are dependent on that kind of technology and we're developing that here. For me, what's fascinating about nanotechnology is that you have a chance to understand how things are interacting and uh, what drives processes at the nanometer scale and how you can structure material on this scale, but also that it has a broad range of potentially societal applications where new properties of materials can emerge and uh, things can be done that you couldn't do with traditional materials. Microscale is a place that's, that's difficult to make structures that are truly three-dimensional, specifically out of many of the materials that we uh, use on the larger scale, metals and ceramics. And so we have developed what really is a completely different way or exploiting a completely different method for making structures on the micro scale, and that's a lot of what we work on. I love the research that we do here at BYU. That's that's my favorite part of my studies is the time I get to I get to spend on research, the time I get to spend solving actual problems and doing real things that have never been done before. Uh, the classes are great too. I learn a lot from all my professors. I think the thing that's most special about BYU, and that I appreciate most about my studies here, is just the help. Everyone goes out of their way to help us as students be successful. We also have a good astronomy group here. We have an observatory and we have observing time on um, telescopes in other parts of the world and uh, they also train students in astronomy. What I love most about astronomy is and research is the ability to discover new things to look at something through the telescope and realize that you're the first person to see this or discover this, and then get to share that information with others. And I especially love teaching at BYU, where I get to share that love of discovery and exploration with the students, and hopefully get them excited about doing research and getting involved in astronomy. We use telescopes here at West Mountain Observatory. We have a 0.9 meter telescope that we use to do work in the visible. We do work in the infrared. I work with the Hubble Space Telescope and Spitzer Space Telescope data. We have a radio astronomer that does work with some of the largest radio arrays in the country. 
and we study everything from planets to active galactic nuclei. One of the very best things about doing research the way we do it here is that we involve the students and students get uh, hands-on training in both experimental work and theoretical work so that when they go into graduate school or to a company they've done already here at BYU the things that they're going to do either in graduate school or in the workplace.